Hello and welcome to today's lesson. We're going to be covering topics under the standard 1.2 in 6th grade and topics under this study island lesson symbolize problem solutions. I'm so glad that you are joining us today. Um, we, the important thing you're going to want to do today is to make sure you take good notes and if I go too fast just pause and rewind. That's the beauty of watching videos and you're especially going to want to take good notes on vocabulary words that mean addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division, or equal so that when you are doing these problems you can identify those key words and it's going to make your life much easier. And another tip you can do is you can pause at the beginning of a question that I'm working out, do the problem yourself, and then watch the video and see if our answers match. And that way you know what you're doing right and areas you still need to study and work on. Um, so glad that you joined us today. And so let's go ahead and take some notes. So here are some words that mean addition. Do you see the words some, more than, plus? added to or increased by, that's going to be a sign that we're going to be adding. Another word you might see is also total. Now, if you see more than or added to, you're going to have to pay attention to those two because these two here mean that you're going to have to flip the order in the words when you translate it to a expression. So for example, five more than, the five's at the beginning and the expression is at the end. 13 added to, 13 is at the beginning, 13's at the end of the expression. And then a number is at the end of both of those, whereas the X that we're using to represent a number is at the beginning. So be careful with those flips. The words that mean subtraction are less than, decreased by, minus, subtracted from, and difference between. Now, and there's two you have to watch out for flips here also. The less than and the subtracted from also mean flips. So if you look here, the three and the four are at the beginning. And the, in the expression here, three and four is at the end. A number is at the end here, x is at the beginning. So just be careful of those four that you remember to get the right answer. You're going to have to flip the order. Some words here that mean multiplication is times multiplied by twice means to multiply by two. Of, that's a very important one. That tiny, tiny word means to multiply. Don't miss that one. And product. Some words that mean division is quotient divided by and ratio. And then some words that mean equality or equal is is. And that's another little tiny word that can be easy to miss. But don't miss that one because it makes your problem much easier if you know that is just means to write the equal sign. So this first problem here is we're just given a sentence and we need to translate it into an equation. So 10 is going to be 10 times, that's multiplication, a number, and if I look at my answers, they're using the letter N to represent a number. You can use any answer you want, but I'm going to use N. Is is an equal sign. 70 is 70. And so just like that, I've translated this from a sentence to an equation. So my final answer here is going to be C. This next question is very similar. I'm going to take this statement and write it as an equation. So 18 is still 18, divided by, that means a division symbol, a number is going to be n, is is going to be equals, and then 9 is still 9. So I'm taking each part of the sentence and breaking it down section by section. So my final answer here is going to be D. Which equation represents the following sentence? So once again, I'm going to take it piece by piece and break it down. So 7 twelfths say 7 twelfths. Minus means a subtraction symbol. A number is N. Is is an equal symbol. And 6 twelfths say 6 twelfths. So my final answer here is going to be D. <clears throat> 
This statement says seven less than a number is 30. Less than is one of those flips that I have to watch out for. So that means less than means subtraction, but instead of the seven being at the beginning of my subtraction, it's gonna be at the end. And a number comes after less than, so n is gonna come before my subtraction symbol. So this is seven less than a number is, is an equal sign, 30. So that's gonna make C my final answer. Now we're taking a more real life scenario and translating it into an equation. So it says Shauna has 35 CDs in her collection. She will be getting seven more CDs for your, her birthday. Which equation would describe N, the total number of CDs in Shauna's collection after her birthday? So she is starting with 35 CDs. So I'm going to write down the number I'm starting with. She's getting seven more. So she's going to be adding seven more into her collection. So I'm going to have a plus seven. And that's going to give her her total number of CDs, which it tells you to use N for. So that's going to equal N. So that's going to make D my final answer. This next question says, Raul has 28 CDs in his collection. He will be giving five of his CDs to his friend Hilda for her birthday. Which equation would describe N, the total number of CDs in Paul's collection after Hilda's birthday? So once again, I'm going to write down the number he started with. That's the 28. But he's giving five to his friend. So that means he's going to be taking five out of his collection. So subtract five. And that's going to give us the total number, which they say to use N. So that's going to make my final answer D. This next question says, Haley spent $57 on a pet supplies at the pet store. Then on her way home, she filled up her car with gasoline. If Haley spent a total of $86.12 on pet supplies and gasoline, which of the following equations would describe G, the amount Haley spent on gasoline? So in this question, they give us two numbers, $57 and $86.12. That $86 is her total. So this time, that means we're the, our whole thing is going to be equal to the total of $86.12. We also have the 57 that she spent on pet supplies. The total is the pet supplies and the gasoline together. So that means the 57 and the gasoline amount would be added together. So it'd be 57 plus G equals $86.12 which is going to make B my final answer. And when I go through here, they each of these options is multiplication, addition, division, and subtraction. That's the only difference. And when I read this, it makes the most sense for it to be addition. So that's also a key that B will be my final answer. This question reads, before a test, the counselors hand out nine pencils to each of the 25 classes. Which of the following equations describe N, the number of pencils they started with? So they're starting with N pencils. And they are giving nine pencils to each of the 25 classes. So that means they're starting with N pencils and dividing them amongst 25 classes. And when they do that, each class ends up with nine pencils. So since they're dividing those pencils out, we want to make sure we have a division symbol in our final answer, which is A. This question says, Robbie ate seven potato chips. Jimmy ate P times as many potato chips as Robbie. Which expression shows how many potato chips Jimmy ate? So the key sentence we're going to need to look at here is Jimmy ate P times as many potato chips as Robbie. However, we know that Robbie ate seven from right here. So that's going to be P is P times is multiplication 
as many potato chips as Robbie, well, Robbie ate seven, so it's going to be times seven. So this keyword times here tells us that we have the multiplication in our answer, which is going to make C seven times P my final answer. This next question says, after a florist sold 23 daisies, there were 136 daisies left. Which of the following occasions would describe N, the number of daisies before any were sold? So at the end of this problem, at the end of this situation, there was 300 or 136 daisies left. So that means whatever we do was going to be equal to what is left. So N is the number of daisies before they were sold, and 23 is the number that were sold. So to get how many were left, I'm going to take the amount you started with, subtract 23, the amount sold, and that's going to tell me there was 136, 136 daisies left. So my final answer is going to be C, N minus 23 equals 136. This next question says, the Big Al snack stand sells burgers and sandwiches. Big Al puts two tomato slices on each burger and three tomato slices on each sandwich. If he sells B burgers and S sandwiches, which expression represents the number of tomato slices that he will use? So the keyword here is to each burger. That each tells us it's multiplication. So that means I'm going to have two times the burger to get the amount of tomatoes he uses on a burger. Another way that we can write two times B is just two B. If there's no operation between a number and a variable, the letter, we just assume it's multiplication every time. Okay, the other part is we have three slices for each sandwich. Once again, that each means multiplication. So we're going to take three times the amount of sandwiches. And once again, we can rewrite that as 3s and just drop the multiplication symbol. So to find the total amount of slices of tomato he uses on burgers and sandwiches, we're going to have to add those two together. So this expression here is what's going to represent the total number of tomato slices he uses, which is choice C, 2B plus 3S. This next question is, there are already 1,600 gallons of water in a swimming pool. If water is filling the pool at a rate of 30 gallons per minute, which expression indicates the amount of water in gallons in the swimming pool after M minutes? So we know there's already 1,600 gallons of water in the swimming pool, but it's continuing to fill. You're continuing to add more water into it. So we're going to have addition, and it's continuing to add at 30 gallons per minute. So this per here means to multiply. So that means I'm going to have 30 times the amount of minutes. And that's going to be the expression 1,600 plus 30 times M that's going to represent how many gallons of water are in the swimming pool after M minutes. Thank you for joining us today and I hope you learned something new.